So I've decided to paint one wall in this bedroom, this spare bedroom. It's a really small bedroom. Um, and the one accent wall where the headboard is gonna go, um, just go in a few shades darker. I'm um, combining the color of the curtains with the color of the accent wall, uh, but I didn't go too dark because uh, it's a small bedroom. So I've just started, I'm just cutting out along the ceiling. I'm gonna go around the whole um, wall. I've done a little patchwork um, around the plug outlet. Uh, and then I will I will roll. Um, you can see they're olive curtains on the windows. So there's a little tone of olive. And then this is an antique white uh, on the rest of the walls. So we're all cut in on this wall. Got a couple of coats here. You want to take your time and do nice clean lines, right? Because you want it to look really nice when it's finished. So take your time around the ceiling. Take your time on those corners, make nice clean lines, and be really careful you don't get any paint on your trim. If you do get paint on your trim, just go ahead and sand it or wipe it down right away. If you see it right when it happens, you can wipe it down with a, with a damp cloth. You wanna go around all your uh, plugs, all your outlets, so that when you roll, you can roll right as close as you can get. Now, if you're not comfortable with the roller and you think you might hit the ceiling or go over, just make your cut in a little bit uh, thicker, okay? So that it gives you a little more leeway space there. And also make sure you have a good brush, okay? So this is a, a one and a half inch purdy angle brush. I like this one uh, a lot. A two inch straight is good too for cutting in. All depends on what you're comfortable with, but make sure you have a good brush. and. The most important part is you want to be able to um, dip it in the paint and then have all the bristles stay together so that you're not going to have any wispies that cause you for your paint, your clean line to not happen. So see how all those bristles stay together nice? That's what you're looking for. So then after you roll it, you got yourself a nice even coat all around the room or all around the wall. You'll let that dry and then do a second coat so you don't have any holidays. And some colors need a third coat. I think this one will probably be okay with two. We'll see how it looks.